Well, the motherboard and CPU combo arrived, but I can't seem to find my knife. So if I, I have my own pocket knife. I have no clue where I put it. It should be somewhere here, but because I'm, you know, if you can't tell, I'm very good at keeping my stuff clean. Can't really find it, so. Uh, uh, yep, that's the route I'm taking, I guess. Very, yeah, this is a bad idea. Let me just go get a proper knife, okay? my mom by acting like my middle brother is fun. <laughs> she was like, hey, hey, hey Ben, is that you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay, which kind of, which kind of ice cream you want? I was like, oh, the statue. And she was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so then I trolled her. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of, this is very well packed. Just a lot of plastic, like a lot of plastic and tape. So, oh. Oh. man, oh, that just cut into the cardboard. does not help I had arm and chest day you know biceps and chest you know really should buy a knife sharpener. Don't know how many times I need to tell my mom to. But yeah. Okay, we should be able to open it by now. Okay. DDR4, that is correct. Version 1.31 should be fine. Oh, it does say 99, which I'm guessing is the correct motherboard. X99 motherboard. I gotta keep the plastic away from the camera because it has my address on it. So, oh, there we go. Oh, serious? So, it's actually very well packed. And there we go, this is the X99 motherboard, and please ignore that little damage on the X, that was from me, so, yeah. Time to open it up, huh? How does one, oh, is it upside down? I think it is. 
Whoa. Oh cool, the box lifts it up. The box lifts itself up. Okay, yeah, it was upside down. That was not the best thing. Oh. Hey, we got a back plate. Nice. I like that. It's good. Ooh. Oh, this is for the cooler, probably. Yeah, 20, yeah, that's for the cooler. This is for the cooler. You got mounting brackets and what is that? A SATA connector? I think so. Nice. Cool. Okay. Anything else in the box before I just toss it on the ground? No. Okay. Oh, ho ho! Package is here. Oh my god, this is a big board. I mean, ATX. I get it. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh my god. I anti static bag. Nice. So instead of you know shipping the CPU separately inside this box, you know, not on the board, they already put it on the board, which is really convenient for me. So then I have to struggle putting it on. And here it is is that is eight sticks of available ddr4 ram oh there's already opened well some of them at least are open most of them actually you got dual m.2 support which is going to be very convenient for my needs because i currently have a half terabyte ssd over there and i'm gonna get a one terabyte samsung 980 evo ssd soon oh it does already have a battery it said it didn't have one, but it does. Lithium CR2032. Nice! I'm gonna take this board, show it to my mom. Okay, I have returned. There's virtually no space on my desk. Here's this. Garbage. I'm actually blind. That was even in the camera too. You, you could see it the entire time. Oh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, the good part is the, oh wow, that's dual, nice. The big CPU, these are really big CPUs, holy moly. But the CPUs are already in their sockets. But one thing I need to check, because it does need two ATX CPU ports. Like It has two ATX CPU ports. Does my power supply have two? Oh no, this is going to be a problem. Because mine has eight each. Mine has two fours. Uh-oh. Do these work? VGA. No, that's PCIe, right? Yeah. No, this is PCIe. What? I could probably use this for the graphics cards and start it. Maybe for it. Uh-oh. Huh. What does one do now? Oh, that's for SATA. I don't have SATA. Let's see what this work. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to fry it by using a VGA2 port. Guys, if you know anything about computers more than I do, would this work? VGA2 connector? I don't know. You have to do some more research before I actually, uh, you know, because I'm still waiting for the CPU coolers, but I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to see. I can't actually get this thing up and running with this power supply. It's a modular, well, semi-modular, be quiet, 500 watt power supply, 80 plus bronze. So, hope it works. Okay, let's see. How would the GPU look in here? It's going to cover up the M.2 slots. So, put the GPU in later because it covers up on the slots. So... Okay, this is, you know what's funny? This is actually a laptop SSD, aka I had it in a laptop. That's unfortunate, this thing's gonna fall apart. Never mind. Okay, that smells weird. Put that away. Whoa, these are tiny screws. Holy moly. Even in the, oh, this is just a bad screwdriver. Yeah, so these are very tiny screws. Will the SSD fit? Yes, like normal. Okay, cool. Where is my iFixit kit? It's not in here. Hold on. 
Yeah, let, let's just put the sticks of Ryan in first. Okay, so this is not the best idea, but I ain't got a better one, and I don't think you do either. So, yeah, this is what we're resorting to, folks. Oh, each of these sticks is 16 gigabytes. E SSC RAM running at 2133 megahertz or mega transfers. Oh. Okay, so like this, right? The notch lines up. It does. Just. Okay. Wow. That's in, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely in. Okay, so it's a lot of sticks to put in. Okay, a lot of sticks to put into here. Come on. I'm actually shaking so much, holy crap. Okay, you know what I do? I just click one side in and then the other. I'm trying to be gentle, I don't want to just slam this in. You know, like Linus Tech Tips. I'm not Linus Tech Tips. Oh, that went smoothly as hell. Okay, these are all done. Make sure it's all clicked. It is. That's already 64 gigs out of <laughs> out of the insane amount of 128. So I didn't double my amount of original RAM, you know, because I used to have 32 gigs of laptop memory, you know, DDR4 still. Uh, and I was going to originally have 64 gigs, you know, double, which I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be perfect. That'll be enough. But then my order got canceled because apparently they didn't list the item, like the listing right. They didn't have the correct stuff uh, said about it or something, like the description. So I just, I got a different order. I got this 128 gigabyte ECC DDR4 memory. The only difference is this is slightly sore, not 2400 megahertz, but 2133. But that is a minor inconvenience compared to the fact we'll have double the RAM. So, yeah. Time to get the iFix the kit so I can actually unscrew the SSD slot, put my, you know, virtual machine SSD in, and then, you know. Oh, wait. What? What is NGFF? Wait, there's one that says NVMe PCIe Gen 2, X4, NGFF, what is NGFF? What is NGFF? NGFS, no. NGFF. Oh, M.2, okay, that's... <laughs> Cool, M.2, wow. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna put the, what, the Western Digital half terabyte SSD in the Gen 2 slot, which is actually perfect for me because that slot is gonna be covered up by this chonky RX 580 Sapphire, eight gigabyte, and, oh wait. Okay, good. Uh, so that means I need to get the, hold on, let me brain real quick. I fixed the kit, right. Oh my god, why did, why did it take so long?
Okay, now the guy fixed the kit, so let me just follow through the long. This looks like a Phillips screw. Yeah, yeah that's a Phillips screw. And we're gonna get my smallest Phillips screwdriver bit and start unscrewing, pretty much. Oh. Okay, that was weird. It struggled to grab. Maybe it's bigger. I'll try it bigger. Maybe not. Maybe later though. I'm I'm thankful they actually put the you know CPU in the socket already. Cause holy crap, I would be <laughs> you trying to put that uh the, the, the CPU in? No, thank you. That would be very scary. But I did mess up on the graphics card, you know. Should have got a one that supports two CPUs. I just got one that was good and affordable. I don't know. Maybe I can check out the forums, LTT forums, or something. Just start screwing it in. Come on. I wish I could boot up this PC already, but I don't have any, like any CPU coolers. Not yet, anyway. It should be here when I come back from Croatia, so. No, they're just... Keep that on the error code reporter. Oh, why is this so heavy? Oh my god. This is a very chunky GPU. Oh. It is, however, very nice. Actually, no. I should probably wait until, like... I can put it in the case, but I just want to try it out first. Let me just try it out. What is wrong? What is not fitting? Oh, oh, wow. That is very nice. Holy crap. So we're basically. What, what what else? Actually, we don't need much. I don't know why I still have this power supply box here. So we're mostly done, to be fair. Think about it. If you really put your mind to it. We just move some stuff aside to make more room. Okay. I shall need that actually. What is this? Oh, is this COVID? What? Oh, YouTube, relax. Relax, YouTube. 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 Don't hurt me, YouTube. Thank you. Ah, YouTube. Where is it? Oh, this power supply. Okay. Okay, it's very heavy now. Definitely getting heavy as hell. I have this, I should probably put on the case later. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten pretty far so far. Should be lifted up. Cause no, it should be okay if I just It's definitely used, I can tell it's used, but there's like obvious wear and tear up here. Where's the steak? Eight pin. Nice. The problem is, I don't have enough CPU. Wait, there. Is there something that says CPU on it? No, it's just this VGA. This is CPU, CPU. There's not another one with CPU on it. God. Can I order some? Extra? Maybe? Wait, how much power does the CPU need? Wait, hold on. How much volts the CPU need on motherboard? Mm. Does the CPU connector need 12 volts or 5 volts? Can't remember. Oh, wait, what is this? Nice tech tips! 
LinusTechTapes.com, they're gonna help me. Whoa. Okay, I was wondering today why CPU has a 12 volt input while using approximately 1.3 to 1.4 volts. Wouldn't it be enough to have a five volt input or even less? Maybe it would be easier to cool the voltage converter. Is there any issue with it? That's a mistake, and the PCIe cards are on the 12 volt rail. The Molex slash SATA are on the 5 volt. The CPU power on the 3.3 volt rail. I'm not sure where the 24 pins are. Uh, be like some converter memory. Okay. 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 Twelve volt comes in and gets turned down to the voltage required by the CPU by the CPU VRM. The, only, the reason you use a twelve volt, not five volt, is because twelve volt is also easy to work with, and you can use lower amps to get the same wattage. Also, read the root gears to handle at higher voltages because you have more room to work with. The VRM is around the CPU and most mid high and, and boards have some form of cooling on it. That's why I usually see heat sinks around the socket. It's cooling the VRM. I see it. Oh wow, that is. Ice cold. Oh my god. It's leaving like marks of me touching it because it's so cold. I'm gonna have to clean the CPU later before I, you know, install the cooler and all the, you know, all the parts are right. So that should mean, and I hope this is true, I can use what? This essentially? For the CPU? I don't know, man. I hope so. Because, oh my god, that would be so lucky. 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 Oh, there's that. Luck. Luck here. Lucky here. Lucky me. Oh, it goes in. It goes in. But does it work? That goes in. But does this one go in? Because this is a very awkward position, right? Does it this one? Yeah. Not pushed in close enough. Why not? Is it going? I can't tell. I can't see anything. Okay. Is it the same shape? It's a great question. It is. Maybe I've just seen very poorly because like my, I'm creating a shadow with my body. Hold on. Some max, yes. Flip it, it works, but that's not correct then. So it can go in. No way, no. Damn! It sucks. It's unfortunate. Oh my god, it's so hard to unplug. So what does it look like on here? I want to say, wait, is that another one? No, that's for the motherboard. Oh yeah, I have more cables here. Have Molex one, or is this PCIe two? Oh, so oh, uh, it's too big. Yeah. Are the VGA two ones if I have PCIe two? Oh, where's PCIe one? That's VGA one. What? VGA one PCIe two. Where is PCIe one then? Dun -dun. Hello? No. No, no, no. No. 12 volt. Two. Try this one on here. Pull out the wall. Let's try this one. Oops, that, that side. Yeah. It doesn't plug it in unless I reverse it, but I'm worried that. No, even like that way. 
five. I need to get some sort of converter up in here. Or I don't know, another plug? Where would it go then? Drive? Oh, this is PCIe one. Oh, but it plugs in here. Okay, so that means I need an adapt. Wait, what does the one that's already on here even plug in? <laughs> Considering all of these problems at the moment. Terry's already got the wrong power supply. Not just the case, but power supply problems too. Because like this one should theoretically work just fine. 125 Celsius. 600 volts? That's insane. That one plugs in. And oh my god, I have to do them at the same time. I can't do one each. No choice. No choice. Plug them both at once. There we go. Okay, so these two plugged in just fine. Yeah, these one. Yeah, these went just fine. Well, it's not weird. Yeah, that makes sense. These two went in just fine. <sighs> that means I need a converter of sorts. That I'll probably find on eBay, hopefully. And hopefully they have quick enough shipping. 